So once you've gone ahead and created your classroom ID, your classroom password, and your teacher password, you are ready to start building your classroom library. So here you'll enter your teacher password to take you to your teacher dashboard. So this is your teacher dashboard where you'll be able to customize uh, your classroom library, you'll be able to add books, you'll be able to manage your students, you'll be able to set up preferences uh, for your classroom. So the first thing I want you to click on on the left is where it says library. You'll notice right now that you have no books in your library. So this is where you can choose to enter uh, your books by ISBN number. Now that's going to take a long time. So we can actually show you the teacher app that you can utilize to scan the barcodes of all of your books where they automatically then get managed into your classroom library. So I'm going to flip over to the app and we're going to show you how to scan books using the app. Okay, so this is the BookSource classroom app that you can use to scan books into your classroom library. So once you've downloaded that app out of the App Store, so here you're going to enter your classroom ID and this password is going to be the specific teacher password you set up. And you can tap log in. So once you're ready to scan, you're going to go ahead and tap where it says scan. And it'll go ahead and ask you the first time to give access to your camera. You want to go ahead and allow that. And then what we'll do is we will... So you'll notice that it scanned the ISBN number up top and it entered the title of the book. And then when you're ready, go ahead and tap add to library. And that book is now added to your classroom library. When we want to scan more, we go ahead and scan our next book and add the library. And we can simply just start scanning away. Now, if you have multiple copies of the same book, you want to scan each of those and add them to your library. And later I'll show you then how to manage multiple copies of the same book for your classroom library. One thing to make note of, if you scan a book and the barcode does not scan, it'll say not found when you try to scan a book in here, you can actually go in through the web version and manually enter the information for that book. So you may see those every once in a while where it doesn't pick up the ISBN number and it doesn't scan correctly. Just set those books off to the side and we can manually enter those in. So once all of your books are scanned, we'll move back to the web version on our Macs again and we'll show you kind of how to manage that classroom library.